Hey guys, it's Richie Plunkett here, and today I'm talking about the EOS webcam utility. If you're getting this issue, if you're getting this image when you connect your 6D specifically, this is this is what I'm having, you know. Uh, and I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to fix that, like because I've looked, I've watched all the popular videos. I'm sure there's like you know, at, like my video is going to be buried somewhere in between there as well because you've got all these other videos like. The EOS webcam utility has been out for a while, so there's all these videos out there showing how to connect it, how to troubleshoot it, have you tried turning you know, it on and off again, have you hit the record button, have you tried a different cable? None of it works, <laughs> um, you know, and specifically for the 6CD, and I know some people have had this issue, and I've watched videos of people connecting their 6CD, I'm like, how does it work? Why does it work? You know what it is? You gotta have an SD card in there. That's all you need. <laughs> I, don't, I might be stupid. You know, it might be a stupid thing. I just figured, and I've seen people, it just works without an SD card. It might be specifically for the 60D because I know it do sometimes doesn't function when it doesn't have an SD card in there or if the battery door's open, like it just like freaks out, you know. So <laughs> um, having this in there, I figured it out myself. Thanks, guys. You know, it wasn't on the forums. It wasn't like anywhere. It was just like, I don't know. Have you tried this and that? I mean, I might be stupid. It might be out there. I might have missed it. I'm sorry. I'm making this video for myself. Um, but chuck an SD card in there. Um, we're we're going to do that. We're going to do that right now because this is, this is what I'm getting. And this is what I've been getting. And it's been a pain in the butt because I'm like, oh, great. I can use my camera, my 60D that's been sitting in the cupboard for years. And I was stupid enough to fix the broken screen, which, you know, I mean, insurance covered it, but it, it cost about like $600, like half of what the camera was worth at the time to fix the flippy screen. And then um, I should have just taken the money and got like a new camera. But ever since then, it's been sitting in the cupboard and I haven't used it because I upgraded to a Sony. Anyways, I'm just ranting on now. Let's let's just put <laughs> Now what you want to do is when you do put that SD card in there turn it on and off again because it's not gonna it needs to kick in um, And you would notice this if you've been having issues that it, it is sometimes can be a bit temperamental um, Where if you if you have the camera on or if it's already being used in another application It freaks out like you want to have it switched off and then you start your application turn it on and it'll kick in um, And boom there we are here. We are in five 76p i think <laughs> i mean obviously i'm using the frame you know to cover this window actually i think it's um you know 720p it, it, it gave me the option of 720p which i don't know why i'm pretty sure it's um you know 556 or 576 um you know anyway anyways i'm, I'm again i'm ranting on all you need sd card chuck it in there away you go you're welcome 